Suppose we wish to fit a cubic polynomial to a data set. Well, here's how. In this example, we'll use the following data set to demonstrate the procedure on the calculator. And the data set is laid out here, so I will go ahead and enter in this data set. The uh, x coordinates, or the first numbers listed in each of these pairs, will constitute list 1. And the second number in each pair, the y coordinate, they will go under L2. So we'll go ahead and just quickly enter in these numbers. And all right, I'm getting close to the end here. Okay, there we go. Now that we have the data entered in, we can proceed with the uh, construction of the cubic function. So we'll go ahead and hit stat. We'll scroll over to calc, and then we will uh, select cubic reg. This is for cubic regression. And then we'll go ahead and tell the calculator to use L1 as the x coordinates, then type a comma, and then L2 for the y coordinates, and then a comma. And we're going to store the results under the Y1 option. You can get to what you can get to this by hitting vars, y vars, and then selecting the Y1 slot under function. Now after this command is executed, we see that we have the uh, standard form for a cubic polynomial. We have the coefficient of x cubed listed here as about 1.52 the coefficient of x squared listed here is about negative 39.8. Uh, the coefficient of x listed uh, here as about 282.3 about. And then the constant term d uh, is 1035.5. Now this r squared value is uh, and it's basically called the coefficient of determination. It tells you pretty much how well our choice of function fits the data and of r squared value that's close to 1 indicates a, a pretty good choice. There's not a whole lot of error between your choice of function and the actual pattern displayed in the data values. Now let's see a scatter plot of this data and a plot of our function. So we'll go ahead and hit second and y equals. That brings up the stat plots. We'll go ahead and select the first one and turn it on. We'll select the scatter plot option. That's this one here. The X list was L1, the Y list was L2, and we'll use boxes for the marks so it's pretty easy to see. And then after that, we're going to hit Zoom, and we're going to go up to Zoom Stat, so this way our window is sized up to see the scatter plot nicely. And here we can see the data values, those are the boxes plotted here, and we can also see our curve and as we can see, the curve really, really does follow the data values pretty well. And that's what the R squared value is going to tell us. And this is how you can do a cubic regression on the TI-8384 calculators.